Book of episode Boba Fett, seven, the episode season finale, finale is, season now finale out, is now and available out, for you guys to go and, and check out. Go and check out. The Book of Boba Fett is officially done and dusted. I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on this episode and the whole season as a whole. Let me know in the comments below, what did you guys think? Did you love the season? Did you hate it? Did you like this episode? Smash it down below, smash that like button for me, and click subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump into this review of the new episode of The Book of Boba Fett. Speak freely. Okay, so episode 7, now done and dusted. Look, I love the two previous episodes quite a lot. This episode, I still enjoyed as well. Not as much as the last previous two, but I did thoroughly enjoy this one quite a lot. There's a lot to love about this episode, from the action sequences, from the gorgeous special effects, the characters, the moments, the score, the music, just everything about it was just awesome. And fitting for the finale. Now, this episode is just basically all about the Pikes versus Boba Fett and co. That's really what this whole episode revolves around. And it starts off with them being ambushed by the other houses that they try to make a deal with. Who turn and join the Pikes. And they start to turn on all Boba's uh, people that are all around the city. And then... Out of nowhere, the Pikes start showing up and start to attack as well. And Boba and Mando decide, we're going to take them head on. And they do. And it's absolutely awesome to see them fight it out. At one point, you're kind of sitting there thinking, oh, damn, are they going to run out? And then, obviously, we all knew the people of Freetown were going to show up. And they do show up to help Boba and to help Mando out as well in their fight. And they start to drive the Pikes back. And then, all of a sudden... These two giant droid gunners come around with their shields, just like the this, um, destroyers had. And now it's a bit of a problem because you can't get through the shield. And so they go and fight these, these things and they're getting absolute battered. They are getting absolute battered. They can't get through the force fields or anything like that. So Boba goes, I need to go get reinforcements. So he flies off and obviously there's only one, one place he's going to go to get something. Meanwhile, Mando starts to take one away while the other townsfolk are trying to get away from the other one. Obviously, he runs into the lady that gave him the ship, and Grogu is there now. So, R2-D2 dropped Grogu off because he obviously chose not the lightsaber, he chose the Mando gear. So, he is now there, and things start to really take a turn here where now Mando's got Grogu to worry about as well. But Boba does end up coming back and he brings the Raycor with him, which was a cool moment to see. You just hear the growl of the Raycor and then you just see his thing and then you just see Boba on top of it. It looked absolutely awesome. And then he just goes ham on this robot. Mando is able to get into the damaged shield with the Darksaber and do some serious damage before the Raycor rips it apart. Raycor and Boba go over and... Br and help the other people, and rip up that one as well. And then obviously, the big climactic battle is right here, right now, when Cad Bane shows up, and sends the Raycor out of there, knocks Boba off, and it's Boba versus Cad Bane. So this was the big build-up to this, this battle. So if you guys are aware of some of the comic stuff, and some of the stories, and everything revolving around Cad Bane and Boba Fett. They have a history already. And this was fitting for them to come to this conclusion, to this battle, to fight each other. Cad Bane gets the upper hand on Boba, but Boba still has his stick from the Tusken Raiders, and he uses that to his advantage and uses those moves to knock Cad Bane over and ultimately defeat Cad Bane in the end. Now that fight, I was a bit underwhelmed by the fight of Cad Bane and Boba. I thought they could have really done maybe a bit more with that fight. Because you are building up this big battle between these two. And it just kind of felt like it happened. And it didn't really wow me. It didn't get me off the edge of my seat or anything like that. So that happens. And then obviously, Fedex Shan takes out all the house leaders and the pikes and the mayor in that building, and the day is saved. 
Grogu and Mando fly off. I love that scene. Oh, I almost forgot. The Raycor does come back, actually. And Mando starts fighting it. And Mando's about to lose. Grogu comes in and puts him to sleep with the Force. And then falls asleep next to the Raycor, which I thought was cute as well. But Mando and then and Grogu fly off. That was a fun sequence as well. We see Boba and that there. Everyone's there. So, he's now saved the town. What's next for him? I don't know. And then, obviously, there is a little after credit thing, but it's nothing too serious or anything like that. It's just the marshal in the back to tank. That's I'm pretty sure it was the marshal. He's in the back to tank. I thought it was going to be Cad Bane for a second, but it's not. It's uh, the marshal. So, whether or not Cad Bane is completely dead, I guess we're going to find out, but I'm pretty sure he is. So, overall, Book of Boba Fett, how do I feel about it? I like the Book of Boba Fett. I don't think it's as strong as The Mandalorian Season 1 and Season 2. I still prefer those seasons. But overall, I did like it. I thought Episodes 5 and 6 were probably my two favorites. I really enjoyed those. I did enjoy 1, 2, and, um, one and 2. Really enjoyed them. And 4. 3 was a bit of a letdown. 7 was good, but it could have been a lot better in my opinion. But overall, I enjoyed everything basically about this from the score from the character of Boba I like what they did with him I had fun with it I really enjoyed this I mean I don't think it's horrible or anything like that but that's just my opinion and I do get why some people have a problem with the last two episodes what I think if this wasn't seven episodes and it was actually more along the lines of like 15 or 16 episodes or more i think then more people would probably be like okay i get why you would focus one episode on someone else rather than just in a seven i get what they mean because it's only seven episodes you take one whole episode to focus on mando where if it was 15 you could Probably more forgive it for doing that because we see things like The Walking Dead, like Game of Thrones, like all that, where they can devote a whole episode to a side character from the main storyline because they have the, so many episodes that they can focus on to do that. Where seven episodes, it doesn't feel like, I don't know, but I didn't have a problem with it, but I know some people do, and that's fair. I totally understand where they come from. But overall, I enjoyed this season of The Book of Boba Fett. Would I like a season two? I would, but I don't want him to stay in Tatooine. I want him to go off world and start to do other stuff. But I don't know what they're going to do with Boba Fett now. Is he going to appear in Mandalorian Season 3? Who knows? But let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Book of Boba Fett. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And see you guys next video. Till then, stay safe and peace out.